Bob. Bob. You see Bob Sabine? I don't see Bob anywhere. Where is he? Well, his hat's here. His intro's here. We don't need Bob. Bob's gone. It's the John and Sabine show. Yeah, we'll call it the John and Sabine. No, yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> Bob's not here, so, you know, he's at the mercy of what's going to happen here. So, um, he's supposed to be doing on what's going on. He's supposed to be going what's going on in Mariposa. Right. Old Town. What's going on in Old Town the week of April 22nd, but he's not here. But he left his intro. And first of all, I don't think they know who we are. My name is John Youngblood. I'm the, actually the host of Mariposa Town Talks on krysradio.org. And Bob's not here. So I have myself and... Sabina Jordan. I uh, maintain the Mariposa Events Facebook page, which posts and shares many Mariposa community events. So um, I'm going to do his intro first, and then we have to figure out what we're going to do, because he's not here, and, you know, he's at the mercy of what we do. Right. So, and if that's the case, then I'm going for it. Oh, um, I, I, I can be Bob. Watch this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob Borchett. I'm a lot handsomer. And this is Old Town Mariposa Show, coming to you from our 3M stu MC studio in the historic Mariposa Hotel in the heart of Old Town, downtown Mariposa. And then um, our show is brought to you, of course, by Best Gold Coin Family Friends Sport Tavern and Restaurant, and uh, where you can dine under the clipper ships. And I've been in the gold coin, and it's really, it's coin. really cool with the gold coins on the, what's the, I think there's Susan B. Anthony's or something. But Bob's not here, so Bob's, he's, he's, he's out of here. Bob's out of here. Get rid of Bob. Bob left it. So, okay. What we're going to do is we're doing uh, what's going on around Old Town. April 22nd. Um, what we have is... Um, had a very busy weekend last weekend. There was so much going on in town. Yeah. It was... Uh, if you run down and see, let's see, we had uh, April 16th, we had the County Fair Appreciation Event. Uh, the 17th, we had the annual Arts Night and Fiesta Auditorium. Because all you got to do is drive by the fairgrounds and you can see all of this stuff going on. Right. And... Um, April 18th, last week, of course, the Grizzly Cinema. They had Making Waves for Our World and the SpongeBob movie. Uh, w we have a lot that goes on around here, and I don't. I think we're gonna kind of let people know. And I'm gonna still look for Bob. He's not here. He's in trouble. He's. I'm taking up for it. You know. I'm just gonna take over for him. I'm handsome anyway. <laughs> <laughs> April. Yeah. April and April 19th, we had uh, the Mariposa Civil War reenactment. Now that happens every year, and they actually. It's my understanding, and from what I've seen, they advertise that almost a year in advance. You see the signs up on, a on I think, on the Long Ranch and one of the mountains, one of the hills coming to Mariposa. And I remember the people that come up here, um, once or twice I've seen them at, the, at one of the other establishments, and these people come from all over the place because they really enjoy it here. And then, of course, on April 18th, again, we had the benefit concert for the Mariposa Grizzly Band, Washington, D.C. Memorial Trip, which I do believe that a, a, was, a, was a fundraiser, which I'm, I was thinking. Right. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, it's always good to support the, the, anything that's going on in Mariposa, and I Absolutely. think that, that's really good. And if they're going to Washington, D.C., I've been to Washington, D.C. many a times. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a good place to go. And then um, on April 20th, it was a Mariposa 100F Hall Pictures from the past with Tom Phillips. That's right. And uh, so if you think about everything that happened last week. Um, oh, and there was this nice email. Oh, yes. Let me, yeah, let me read this email. Okay. I, I want to read this email. Since we did all that, I think this email says a lot. No, I can't read it as Bob, so I'll read it as John. <laughs> this morning I was thinking of driving up north to a center tender festival. It was a weekend and like felt like doing something. Since I woke up late, I decided that day was shot and might as well drive into town and grab something to eat. I couldn't believe all the activities going on in my adopted town. Friday, today, and tomorrow is the annual Civil War reenactment. Over by the health food store was a guy giving a free folk music concert. Then in the art park, there was another concert put on by the Mariposa High School band to raise money to help them go perform in Washington, D.C. Plus, Castle Oaks and Sierra wine tasting rooms and prospectors in Yosemite Ale Works tap rooms, which are all downtown, were open, not to mention the numerous eateries in town along with all the shops that were open. There were people from around the world walking up and down the streets of downtown Mariposa. This is what every downtown wished they could have going. So what was going on in your town today and what's going to happen tomorrow? That was from... Um, um, 
it, uh, the, an email. That was an email. Right. So I think that said it all. If if you if you read that email, that for a small town, and people say we're small, it's not. That's big town stuff right there. Exactly. That's big town stuff. All it is is big town stuff squished in a little area. Exactly. So it makes it look like it's humongous and great and large. It's so amazing. It's quite impressive. You know what I think we should do is, be, be, you know, put Bob's hat back so he won't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and now we have... We're going to let you do Around Town this week now. Around Town this week? Well, there's a lot of stuff happening around town this week, especially Saturday. On Saturday, well, for one thing, that Bob did this wonderful interview with Les Marsden, our, the founder and director of our wonderful uh, symphony orchestra, Mariposa Symphony Orchestra, and he's doing a special performance this Saturday at the Fiesta Auditorium at the high school, which is all about... Yosemite's 125th anniversary, and he wrote a special composition for it called Firefall, which is all about, you know, the anyway, he explained it, and it sounded wonderful. I, I want to go see it, and we go always go to see the symphony, and he does such a beautiful job, so I really look forward to it. And then the following day, he's doing the same concert at the Awani Hotel in the park. So, but and then also that same day, uh, there's so much going on that day, starting with a pancake breakfast at the um, Bootjack Fire Station from 7 a.m. till 11 a.m. And then also that same day, there is a music marathon at the uh, Museum and History Center downtown. And that's also a benefit for the Grizzly Band mm -hmm. going to Washington uh, for Memorial Day. And that's all day at the uh, Museum and History Center from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And then what else do we have going that day? Oh, the day before, I forgot, on the 24th, the Mariposa County High School Drama Club is doing a performance called Grizzly Got Your Tongue. What a great title. And it's at 7 p.m. It's at the Feaster Auditorium. And apparently it's an improv and audience participation game night sort of thing. I'm not sure it sounds intriguing. And uh, what else? On Also on April 25th is a uh, benefit dinner for the Ewing Memorial Garden of the J.C. Fremont Hospital, uh, and that's being held at the Senior Center at um, 6.30 p.m., and they're having some kind of judging of the tables at 5 p.m. And let's see what else we got going on. FFA Booster. The FFA Booster, right. Another thing on the 25th, the FFA Booster Dinner Auction and Dance, I think, I don't know if there's a dance, Auction and Dinner at the Mariposa Fairgrounds. Um, I'm not sure what time that is, but that's also on the 25th. And um, and then, actually tonight, tonight there is uh, the Haunted Wind Chimes are playing at the Hideout Saloon. And Moon and Leo is playing at the Hideout Saloon this coming Friday. And then we got music at the Gold Coin on Friday night. We got Mike Hall and Rio Loco starting at 8.30. And on Saturday, Dave Trujillo starting at 8.30 at the gold coin. And then there's a bunch of stuff in the North County. You want to cover the stuff in the yeah. North County? Let's go with the North County. We have um, at the Northern Mariposa Historical Center, there's electric series number three. I look back at the Coulter family. And this is like the third year, the spring lecture will presentation by Ed Wade of the Coulterville family. Ed is actually a descendant of the family for which Coulterville was named and will share his family's history with us. It will be at 3 p.m. on Saturday, May 2nd at the 100 F 5030 Main Street in Coulterville. Be sure to mark your calendars. Also, way a little bit down the road, on June 13th, and that's a special date. I just noticed that because that's actually my birthday on June thirteenth. Oh. And that's right, the second Saturday for a repeat presentation by Tim Erickson about the family's cattle drive and history slash future in the region. This is will take place at the Greeley Hill Community Club beginning at three p.m. Now that's a little bit down the road, and you'll probably hear it again. But that's in June, and then Saturday in Colterville, April twenty fifth, the Roses of Colterville Walking Tour, starting at ten a.m. in Colterville. And if that you make, yeah, the, the Roses of Colt, I've heard about that too. Mm -hmm. And if you make it over Coltville, be sure to check out the North Side History Center and the John Muir Geotourism Center. I think they also have a, some kind of a John Muir Festival coming up soon up there at the uh, John Muir Geo Center. I'll have to look at the events and see, but there, I know there's something coming up there. 
And you want to, and then uh, for Yosemite events on Thursday, April 23rd, which is tomorrow through June 4th, <laughs> our, our own Lee Stetson will be forming in the theater in Yosemite Valley, the Spirit of John Muir. And then you can do Sunday. Sounds good. April 26th at 2 p.m., the 125th Yosemite National Park Anniversary Commemoration Concert in the Great Lounge at the Awani Hotel in Yosemite Valley. Conducted by the Mariposa Symphony Orchestra, founder, director, Les Marsden. And it's apparently there's going to be a very special guest, a very famous cello soloist named Ira Lane. Well, and that's the wrap-up we have. And I guess we can do Bob justice by bringing his hat back and <laughs> pretend. <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah, Bob can close the show. Bob's not here. Hey, Bob, you're closing the show. And brought to you by Fitzgerald Point. Absolutely. And uh, thank you, Bob. Yeah, thank, th thanks, Bob.